Okay, in this video, I'm going to uh, talk about place value of three and four digit and five digit numbers. Okay, so you can see that uh, we've got written on our own learning objective here place value for three, four, and five digit whole numbers. These are whole numbers. Okay, and I'm going to um, just go through what the place value is for each of these digits and um, some play and some uh, partitioning as well. Okay, right. so okay, so here we have the number three hundred and sixty-seven. Okay, and we have it's in the units column uh, six sets of ten and three sets of a hundred. Okay, so if I was to partition this number, it would look like 300 plus 60 plus 7. So if anyone asks what is the value of the 6, okay, the value of that 6 would be 60. Okay, the value of this 3 is 300. All right. Okay, so um, if we have this number here, 4,897, okay, the 7 is in the units column, the 9 is in the tens column, the 8 is in the hundreds column, and the 4 is in the thousands column. Okay. And if we were to partition this, it would be, it would look like this, it would be 4,000 plus 800 plus 90 plus 7. Okay, so you need to remember that if you have um, a number such as this, 4,897, and you have to uh, add, say, a hundred, okay, the only digit that is going to change is the digit that's in the hundreds column, so in this case the eight would change to a nine and we would have 4,997, okay, so the digits in the tens and units column stay the same, and in this case the thousands digit also stays the same, okay. Let's go on to the next one. This whole number is 59,054. Okay, again, 59,054. This is, the, there's a four in the units column. There are five sets of 10. There are no sets of 100. There is, there are nine sets of 1,000. Okay, and there are five sets of 10,000. Okay, so if I'm going to partition that, I'm going to start with 50,000. Okay, 50,000. Okay, plus 9,000. Plus, now, uh, some people would say that you because you have a zero here, you don't have to write the hundreds, okay? Um, uh, I, I agree with that, and, and I feel like, I feel that if you, if there is a zero in a particular column, and you are partitioning, you don't need to write that digit, okay? It would be pointless. So you can simply just write 50 plus four, okay? So again, that number is 59,054. All right, now if you were asked to add 100 to that number, the only digit in that case that would change would be the zero, okay? And that zero will become a one. So you would be left with 59,154. If you are asked to add uh, a thousand 
to that number. Well, then this 9 would change, okay, and it would become a 0, and this 5 would change, and it would be 60,000, okay. And uh, if, if we're adding 1,000 to this number here, it would be 54, okay. So I'm just going to... So just make sure that you don't get confused. When I added a thousand here, I was adding it to the original number that I started with here. I wasn't adding it to this number here. Okay. Okay. So I hope that uh, has been helpful for you. Remember, you can uh, start the video and replay it anytime you want, or as often as you want. It's meant to be of help for you. Okay. Good luck.